Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be looking at my first proper review of a, any Douglas Lang product. Uh, I have actually covered it a little bit on the channel. Um, I did a live stream with uh, the Dram team fairly recently. I'll put a link to that just up here, uh, where I did talk about the old particular Strathclyde. I think we did the 20 and the 26 year old. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a full in-depth review of those in a couple of weeks time. So don't forget to subscribe. But today we're going to be checking out one of their other kind of core range jobs. So the old particulars are kind of cask strength, single cask series things. This is their blended series and it's a core range that you can pretty much get all the time. This particular one is the Timorous Beastie. And that is a reference to the poem by Robert Burns called To a Mouse. Uh, and I'm gonna try and hash through some Scottish here, but the poem was, We sleek it cowrin timorous beastie, which in modern English means little well-groomed timid beast, I think. Oh, cowering, obviously I missed cowering as well. Not curin, cowering. But yeah, so uh, Robbie Burns was known for obviously his poems, Burns Night is a big thing we like to do on the whiskey channels and in whiskey in general. But uh, he did write in the way he spoke, the way that uh, some deep kind of Scotch accents are. So it, they're interesting reads, check them out. So this is the Timorous Beastie. It's bottled at 46.8% and in the UK you can get this for around £35, which I think, considering the ABV already, is a steal. Some people aren't keen on blends, some people aren't keen on no age statements. I do believe there is a 10 year old version of this. I think there might even be a, a much older version as well. That I don't have. This I do. This is the standard release. Straight in for the nose then. It's, it's a Highland blend, so we're talking things like Glengarry, Glengoyne, Blair Athol, that sort of thing. It's kind of a little bit of a musty nose to it, but there's sweetness there. And a kind of freshness as well as the mustiness, oddly. A bit like sweet and sour then, in, in concept rather than flavor. Let's go in for a palette. Mm. It's kind of thick and viscous, spicy. There's a little bit of cinnamon on there. That's one of the spices I'm picking out. But it's really quite flavorful. It's very, very zingy on the tongue. Very, very thick and flavorsome, I would say. It's probably a good well-round thing. But ultimately, it's a really good, cheap whiskey. I don't think you can say fairer than that. Mm. Very tasty indeed, very tasty indeed. Considering its price point and its ABV, I, I don't think I can recommend it enough actually. I think if you've got an opportunity to get a bottle of it, I don't think you should, you should sniff at the chance. Uh, I got mine as part of a uh, subscription set from the Jam Team and I, didn't, I hadn't tried it before and I think it's actually quite marvellous and I think I'll be trying to get a bottle of it myself. Well, there we go. Thanks for joining me for this quick review on a Douglas Lang product, Timorous Beastie. I'm going to be doing a lot more of Douglas Lang coming up. I've got most of their core range and I've got a few of their old particulars and their provenance, but I'll go through those when I actually do the reviews. So if you don't want to miss those, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, check out what YouTube thinks you should watch right here. Thank you.